The art of sharing, well, art, is the most intimate and personal act two humans will ever do. To reveal one's words, one's deepest thoughts, one's innermost feelings, far surpasses sex on any spectrum. To write for another is to disrobe before them, to stand cold and nude and shaking, wrinkles and blemishes uncovered, imperfections glaring in the harshest daylight, and say, here I am, in my purest and most unfiltered form, Please love me. This is what I mean when I ask you to get naked. Hi guys, I'm back with another book review and this time I'm going to be reviewing Tales of My Former Self by Kelly Blouse. Um, this book, well first of all I found Kelly via Twitter. Somebody had retweeted her onto my timeline and I just started like creeping on her profile because she was adorable and just that day she had released this book and I bought it like instantly because you guys know me one i have no self-control when it comes to books and two i love supporting um small businesses and authors and artists and all of that um and first of all can we just talk about how aesthetically pleasing it is it's just black matte black white text simple perfect i kind of wish every book looked like that then my whole shelf would be matching Anyways, um, it's a poetry book, and I find poetry a little harder to review than normal books, especially when it's stuff like this. She's writing from personal life experiences. It's not um, a work of fiction or anything like that. Um, so I'm not even sure how to go about reviewing it, honestly. I will say that I actually really enjoyed it, and I'm not much of a poetry person. I... Okay, let's... Let's start with this. I didn't look to see what it was about at all before I before I bought it, and so you can you can tell by that how impulsive this purchase was. Um, but I don't regret it. It was a really good read. They're all quite short, usually two pages at most. Some of them maybe a bit longer. Um, she wrote about heartbreak and um, just like what she's dealing post breakup and uh, sexual assault issues that she's encountered and it's pretty deep and so I don't think I can honestly rate whether it was good or bad because I don't think that's even fair to say but I personally enjoyed reading about it and I thought it was really relatable on a lot of levels. And I think that a lot of people my age will be able to relate to this, especially females. I don't know so much about men. I feel like it is still relatable for men. Everybody goes through heartbreak. <laughs> but, uh, and maybe it's better for guys because then they can read it. And for me, when I'm feeling sad or angry, it really helps to read something or listen to music that's, uh, expressing the same emotion that I'm feeling and it helps it get it out of my system <laughs> and that's what this kind of was for me not that I'm going through heartbreak right now but I if this had come into my life about two or three years earlier it definitely would have been perfect timing but even still it was a good read um, she also talks about uh, issues with her parents like she had issues with her dad and so it kind of goes into that. I can't really relate to that but it's still um, really interesting topics to read about in poetry. She's a great writer and it held my attention and I read it all in one day. Like literally this took me like two hours to finish. It was so good. I definitely recommend you guys reading it. Um, I have a link below. It's my Amazon affiliate link so if you purchase it I get a percentage of it and then also you're supporting her so it's like a three for one deal you get a book you're supporting two people wow cool deal um, I am interested in reading more poetry I think after reading this so if you have any poetry recommendations you should let me know down below the last poetry book I read was actually a medieval poetry book from like the 1400s England so this was very different compared to that. And then before that, I think the last poetry I read was Edgar Allan Poe, of course. I think everybody's read his stuff, whether you're into poetry or not. 
Um, but yeah, so this was a, a pleasant read for me, especially when I got it, not knowing that it was poetry when I got it, I was unsure, but I, I really enjoyed it. I, I'm not going to give it like a number rating because I don't think like I said, I don't think that's fair, because then you're rating somebody's personal experiences, like, oh, you didn't write about your rape good enough for me to enjoy, so I'm not going to do that, but I am going to say it was enjoyable to read, so, yes. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram and Patreon, I'm going to leave all those links below. If you haven't subscribed, you should. Um, and Kelly... The author of this book, I'm going to leave all her info below too, so check that out. Thanks for watching!